Hey everybody, I got a comment from a subscriber on my previous camping activities list video. They were looking for something a bit more, well, exciting. And yes, the previous video was geared more towards kids. Well, this particular one is geared more towards the teenagers and above. High adventure activities such as rafting. Well, in this one, we were able to take kids on that one just because the water wasn't too crazy. But we're going to go over all sorts of things that are fun to do for the teenagers and above. So with that, let's roll intro and get into it. If you're new here, pitch a tent on that subscribe button down below so that you can join us on all of our adventures. We'd love to have you along for them. Now, I want to mention that everything on this list should be easy enough to buy, maybe even borrow or rent locally if you don't already have the gear for it, because some of it does require gear. With that, let's get into this list of 19 items for camping-oriented voyages, inspiring desire to get out there and have some fun. Let's go. All right, let's go sit down over here. All right, we're gonna be doing this right inside here because it is a little bit breezy outside. Plus, I can put a TV up here so that you can see everything that we're going over along with me. First up is ATV riding. Now, you'll have to find some designated trails or some BLM land or something, forest service area, et cetera, to be able to ride around on, but way fun to go out on the ATVs. Next up is sandboarding. This could be dunes that are next to the ocean or even dunes that are, you know, here in the middle of the state where it's landlocked. Doesn't matter. Get your sandboard, head up to the top of the hill. It's a lot of fun. Rock climbing. Rock climbing is a blast. Just get your top rope set up and start climbing those rocks. Climb on, belay on, make your way up that rock. Secondary to this is rappelling. You don't always have to go up the hill. So you can put your top rope on, walk around to the top, and just rappel down. It's a lot of fun. Along these same lines is hiking. There are a lot of trails out there. I especially like to use all trails to find the trails that I want to go on. So pretty much anybody can get out there onto them, onto the, the trails that are all over the place. Cave exploring. Now, cave exploring is a little bit unique because you have to be safe when you go out into the caves. Some of them are at national parks, state parks, etc., that you can actually get tours to go on. Other ones, you might have to be a little bit more cautious and uh, make sure you have the right equipment to stay safe while you're doing it. Canyoneering. Now, if you're going to Zion National Park, that one, hit up the slot canyons for it. It is just amazing and totally worth going canyoneering. And it doesn't have to be Zions either. There's lots of canyons around to explore and discover new areas that, you know, it's got neat stuff. Downhill biking. For downhill biking, oh, that's a blast. You have two vehicles, one parks at the top with all of your gear, ride these trails down to your second vehicle, and then go retrieve your first. There are a lot of trails out there to be able to do the downhill biking also. So if you can ride a bike, you should definitely do it. Now fishing, and I'm going to put this in a combination with deep sea fishing. Not necessarily a, a camping item, if you will, for deep sea fishing, unless you're fishing on the ocean, I guess. But there is a ton of fishing and you could do that young or old, doesn't matter. As far as the high adventure portion of it, that's where the deep sea fishing comes in because there are campgrounds that are along the coastline that you could then be chartered out on a boat to go out deep sea fishing. Paintball. Now this one, just get your paintball markers and you could do this in the forest at a designated course. You could totally just hopefully uh, be able to find somewhere very easily to be able to go out paintballing. You do need a few people to be able to get a full on battle but that's okay. There are tons 
of paintball groups all over the place that I'm sure you could get in on some of their games. River rafting. Now this one, you probably want to make sure that you're going down with a guide if it's your first time. They do big rafts like this one here, and you can find rivers all over the place to be able to do some rafting. Tubing and kayaking. So the slightly you know, less extreme uh, version of your big river rafting, etc. But you can take the teenagers out and hit up some rivers and just go through the smaller rapids and have a lot of fun with it. Surfing. Along the same lines of those campgrounds that are along the ocean, you can totally rent a surfboard, get out onto the water, and then be back to your campsite that evening. Just saying, it's a lot of fun. Scuba with sharks? Yes, scuba with sharks. So you can go out and if you need to rent the gear or maybe you already have it, etc. But you can go out in these big old cages and go scuba diving and the sharks will swarm around you. Okay, I'm, it's a little bit of a stretch on that one as far as a camping activity. But if I was camped near the ocean, that's something that I would seriously consider as something as, uh, as far as an activity to do while I'm there. Heck yeah. Boating and jet ski. Really, really common for campers. Uh, for example, here in where I'm at, you can actually tow another trailer behind like a fifth wheel. So you could have a boat with your camper when you head out to the lake. And so that's just uh, one that you see very common for that high adventure activity while you're camping. Target practice. You can go out there and uh, hit as many targets as you want. There's plenty of places to go and uh, have some BLM area, for example, that has a nice uh, hill of a backstop. Now, if you're gonna go do this, please be cautious of starting fires. So just throwing that out there to be safe. Horseback riding. You can go horseback riding pretty much anywhere, all right? When you go out camping, I have seen plenty of places that have the, the bar, I don't know what it's called off the top of my head, where you can have your horses tied to so that they don't run away. And you can even, uh, I, I don't know if it's called a charter, or it's not a rental, but basically go out on these uh, guided horseback riding areas. So that is definitely something to look into. Bungee jumping. Now this one, you will have to be in an area that has, you know, a, a, either a tall facility for it or something that was designed for it, but it is an option depending on where you're going. And for this one, geocaching. All right, all ages, all levels. Some of them can get a bit tricky. Some of them are in hard to reach areas. So if you're looking for an adventure with your geocache, this will range from young to older and be able to find those really hard to get to ones. All right, that was 19 camping oriented voyages to inspire desire to get out there and have a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed the list. If you've got some that you really like to do while you're out camping also, go ahead and put it in the comment section down below. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Join us on all of our adventures we have coming up and we will see you later.